In this video, we're going to get an overview of the process of unwrapping UVs. All right, so whenever we create our models, there is a process called unwrapping the UVs. And what this is, is basically taking the 3D model and converting its UV coordinates to 2D space. This is helpful whenever we need to apply a texture to a model. So with a 3D model, we need to be able to create textures in a certain position on the model. So let's say that we wanted to create these stripes across the top of the limbs. If we wanted to paint that in a texture, we would need to create the UV space or the UV coordinates so that way it could be in the proper position. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Now in this particular course, we're not going to go in depth with UV. We're simply just going to get an overview, understand what it does and how it works. So let's go ahead and select the model and I'm going to go down to the Edit Poly modifier and let's switch the modifiers that we're using to the UV coordinate modifiers and we're going to use the Unwrap UVW modifier. Now once we apply this, you'll see that it goes above the Edit Poly and I can open the UV editor. Now looking at this, you can see clearly that this is our model in 2D space. Now what we want to do is we want to flatten out certain parts of it into that 2D space. Now one problem that we have with this is if I were to paint, let's say, a smiley face on this polygon, it would actually show up through on this back polygon as well. Maybe that's not something that we would want. Let me show you what it actually looks like with a texture applied to this. So let's go ahead and go up to the drop down here and let's use this texture checker. It's going to apply these different colored boxes with letters and numbers on them. And you can see right here this polygon is right here. So D4, you can see that. But it also shows through on this other side and it shows up backwards. And that's not something that I really want on my textures. Another thing that you'll notice about the model is that the texture is actually stretching. And that's not going to look very good on our model. So what we need to do is we need to flatten out the UVs of the model to correspond properly onto the 3D model. So let's go ahead and select all of the polygons in the UVs and we're going to use a simple tool called Flatten Mapping. Now this particular tool is not the only tool that you should use with unwrapping UVs. This is the fastest way but it is not always the most accurate way of doing it. Now, like I said, we're not going to get in depth with all of the different tools that are in the UVW modifier. Uh, we're going to just experience how to flatten out the UVs to create quick textures because we are going to only really be using materials with this object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Flatten Mapping. I'm going to leave the default settings here. And what this is going to do is it's going to flatten out all of the UVs and it's going to look at the polygon angles of the model and it says if it's over 45 degrees it's going to create a seam at that point. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Now you might be wondering what is a seam? Anywhere that you see these green lines on the model that is a seam. That has been cut or split in the UV space and it's separated out. So click on this UV right here notice that it's the top of the model. We now have the UV uh, coordinates tied to the 3D model here and it's flattened out nice and neat. We can actually tell what those letters are. You can see the boxes are pretty much the same size throughout the model. There's a little bit of um, you know, a different direction for the letters but that's okay. We don't really have to worry about that too much. And so now we have all of this going on in this 0 to 1 space. Now the 0 to 1 space, that's just use, that's the term that we use to tell the UVs that they are in that default position. Now you can take UVs outside of that 0 to 1 space, and this would be considered uh, the 1 to 1 space here. Now that's not really important at this time. What we're worried about is just the UVs being flattened out and that we could actually create a texture and apply it and it would apply without any stretching on the 3D model. 
So now that we have that set, let's go ahead and close that down. And once the UVs have been applied to the model, we can do this to the other pieces as well. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the UV. So just click away from that. And let's select the next model here. And we could add it right above the Edit Poly. We'll do Unwrap UVW. And the reason that I'm adding it at the Edit Poly level is because we want to see the UVs with a low resolution. We don't want to work with millions of vertices while trying to create the UVs. That can be problematic. So we'll open the UV editor. And here you can see the same sort of thing. This looks pretty good, but there's still a lot of overlapping happening on this model. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's go to the texture checker again. Look at all the stretching that's happening on the front here. And so what we would need to do is need to flatten that out a little bit better to where it's not um, stretching like that. The, the texture just won't show up properly. So let's select all of those. And then we'll go to mapping, flatten mapping, and then hit OK. You can see that that has now flattened out. You can see the sides of that mesh. OK, that looks good. And everything is now properly fitting. We can see the actual numbers and letters on this. The colors look great. So let's go ahead and close that down. And we'll just simply keep that onto the model. And we can apply that to the rest of these objects. Now, the main objects that I'm really worried about is just the drone body itself. This is really the, going to be the only object that's going to have a texture applied to it. Um, we could do everything. And there are going to be some materials that do have maps applied to them. And it could, um, it could affect how it is seen on the model itself. So if you want, you could just go ahead and add the unwrap UV. And then just do a simple flatten mapping on all of the pieces. OK, mapping, flatten mapping, hit OK. And click away from there, choose the next one. And then let's select everything again. Mapping, flatten, mapping. Hit OK. And it still puts it in that space. That's fine. And this is a very, very rough way of adding UVs. OK. So I wouldn't typically do it this way. But again, we're not going in detail with unwrapping. There's a lot more that goes into unwrapping. There's there's a thing called texel density, and there are things called, um, you know, taking up that negative space and making sure that it's it's properly filled out, and making sure that certain parts of the mesh. Oh, let's make sure we just have this, that certain parts of the UVs are shown properly and that they are put in a, a, a good position. There are lots of different things that go into unwrapping. Now we do have a course called 3ds Max unwrapping our UV mapping fundamentals that you'll be able to follow along with um, at this point. So now that that is done, let's go ahead and move back. And we could go ahead and add the rest of these. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it the way it is. Um, you can unwrap all of these pieces if you like, but I'm going to go ahead and just continue on with the next lesson. And in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how do we create textures for our models. And how do we do that using the unwrap modifier that we talked about?